everybody, this is Rose of Sharon, and I'm back again with another TV series review. This time, I am going to talk about Equinox. Now, Equinox itself is set in Denmark, and it's very similar to Dark, but it's completely different from Dark. It is a show that deals with pieces, and putting those pieces together as in a puzzle. And our main character, Astrid, she has a lot of questions, and I like the the segues between um, flashbacks and present day. And so, the very short series, we're given a summary of what actually happened on that fateful graduation day, and it's just it's really interesting because I had a theory about uh, Ida and what occurred with her. Uh, we find out quite a bit about her character, and um, of course, the equinox itself is um, a central crux. And I'm not going to say why because that's going to give away a lot, and I don't want to spoil the series at all. It's it's very unnerving. It's um, it's very eerie. It's very um, unsettling in many of the aspects of it, but it's also interesting to see Denmark. And I had never seen a series set in Denmark before, so it was a real treat for me. And it seems like the Danes are very, very welcoming people. And their school's a lot different. It's sort of like um, schools in Norway. There's, I think there's a lot of similarities. Um, they, they like their Norse gods, it seems. Um, so they have that in common with their Norwegian neighbors. Um, <laughs> I loved it. I just, I thought it was excellent. It was so compelling. I was just so drawn. And um, all my theories were basically true. But there are a lot of questions that I was actually left with. And I'm wondering if anybody out there, if you've seen the original Danish version, if it's any different than um, uh, the dubbed version there were some differences because of the subtitles there it's obvious but i'm not going to say what those were because i don't think that they were really central to plot i think it was just there for conversation to establish characters in and of themselves just to see how um, their interactions together and what kind of personalities they had and who they were and it just uh it keeps us um apprised of who these characters are um, I just, I love the opening is one of my favorite things. It's just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's very surreal. It's very Salvador Dali-esque, which I love for MC Escher. And it's very revealing as to the whole con context of the show. It's, um, now that I have watched the opening and realized what the show is about, I think, oh yeah, this is very telling. It's, um, it doesn't give everything away, but it's just little hints here and there. It's like, I'm going to give you little snippets. I'm going to give you a taste. This is just a slight clue as to what you're going to experience. And it's much more than that. It's very involved. It's very interlayered. <laughs> and one thing I really enjoy is the psychology in the film or the series. It's very fascinating just the workings of uh, mental illnesses um, maybe and have me having been diagnosed with one um, I don't consider it who I am I, I honestly don't think that the diagnosis is um, factual because I just don't see myself as bipolar type 1 I guess I have some of the characteristics of a, a typical bipolar, but I just, I don't exhibit a lot of the, um, the characteristics of, um, type one or I'm, I'm type one unknown. So I'm, I'm in a category all by myself. I thought, oh, I'm very special, but yeah, I'm, I'm always the one that's the outlier. So there we go again. Um, nothing new, <laughs> but it's just, it's a, a very interesting depiction of, um, mental disease disorder. Um, the distinction between reality and fantasy, 
Um, of course, there's there's something else that's going on within the series itself. I'm not gonna say what it is because it's uh, something I really believe in uh, in quantum mechanics. So I can't really go into it because it's very, very, very involved. And with uh, a lot of the things that I have seen and witnessed over my time and my 41 short years here, yeah, it just adds more evidence to uh, what I already know to be true. And I'm just I'm waiting for science to try and figure out if they can back it up because it's something that's a theory in and of itself. But I, I think that there are too many experiments right now that have actually proven that that this actually happens um I'm not sure what else to say about the series itself it was way, way too short but i like the ending the ending was very good but then again and um for those of you who have, who have seen it um, you know what questions that i have still rumbling around in my head so if you could please fill me in I'd be forever in your debt, but I think I already have the answers, honestly. I just don't know if I'm right. <clears throat> it's difficult to say, but so far, um, as for recommending the series, I highly recommend it. Um, it's similar to Dark. It's different. It's just as um, twisty as Dark is. Um, <laughs> But it's just, it's it's really fascinating, I think. I give it two thumbs way up, five stars, hands down. No bad chain, no no complaining, there no drags, no lulls. Um, and it will keep you on the edge of your seat. It's one of those things, this psychological thriller, so it's not something that has jump scares in it, which I appreciate. It's more of, let's unsettle your mind as much as we could possibly unsettle it. But um, that's basically all I have to say about Equinox. So until next time, live long prosper. Ciao, Titi.